Because everybody fucking Let's Plays it. Yeah, you're not a, you're not an official YouTuber until you Let's Play that game. It's like the, it's like it's like the final like the equivalent of high school wise. It's like the fi- it's like your uh, second semester final. Exactly, and it, just same with Resident Evil Four and Minecraft. No, f- Minecraft is kind of like that. It's like a pop quiz that keeps coming up all the time. Yeah. You just keep doing it. Minecraft keeps fucking lagging for me, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't even bought it yet. You shouldn't. I shouldn't. No, it's not that great. Everyone's, I'm getting like different opinions here from everybody. Like, the game's good, but the game's okay. Stick to Terraria, blah blah blah. Yeah, Terraria's better. I just get kind of, I get lost, for some reason I'm one to tend to get lost in those games. What, what I mean by that is like, I don't know what to do. I have a house. Well, Terraria sort of has a meaning. If you want to call it that? I just kind of want to know how to like get. I'm so freaking dense in that game. I don't even know how to get the fucking boss to show up. So that's how bad you know I am at this game. Right. Isn't the first boss like a giant eyeball or something? Yeah. How do I get that guy to show up? Well, you needed um something called a mysterious looking eye, and you need six lenses for that. And you go to uh. One, you know those glowing things you see underground? Mm-hmm. You go to those to craft uh, boss items. So those things do have a purpose, okay. Yep. I thought they were just natural lights at first. But nope. Well, I thought they had a purpose, I just never bothered with them. And that and I always run out of room because I freaking pick up everything for some reason. And I don't know what to do with it. I don't know, quick... This is another dumb question. Do mold if you have an extra chest, is it kind of is it does it follow like Animal Crossing rules and the fact that treasure chests contain the same items even though it's from Nah, the- you can have multiple te- chests and store things in them. I like but how we're about a more interesting game than what we're playing right now. <laughs> well, anything's more interesting than this shit. But um, the piggy banks and safes they work like Animal Crossing rules. More chest and having to freaking make my house a lot bigger. Whatever, my copper house is gonna make perfection one day. There needs to be a double jump in this damn game. I think I need to work on my copper house in Terraria. <laughs> my copper house is freaking amazing. You don't even know. Screw having like a wood house or a freaking brick house. I'm gonna go freaking copper. Ah. Uh. No! God, this game sucks. I think it's pretty enjoyable. Yeah. It seems like this game that wasn't a total cash in by Disney to make a couple bucks off the... freaking... Well, it's a top class game. Uh, this, is, this game was made out of complete random by the Disney Corporation thinking they could make a good game. Yeah, they were completely right. But I'm gonna beat this damn game. Then it, you gotta remember, this was around the time when they had a horror and the Nightmare Before Christmas became popular again for some reason. They had a horror out as much as possible. <laughs> they were in all their fucking movies. I don't like Disney much. Yeah, Disney's not so bad. It's sometimes, I mean, they, they, I, like, I like a few of their movies, but I think one of the only good things Disney's ever spawned off of it was Kingdom Hearts. That's about it. <laughs> what the fuck, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, it goes up. The fucking Pokemon doesn't stop fucking leveling up. Oh, I forgot to end it at 30. Well, I'll just go to 45 and make it uh, 3 videos. Did you forget that you recorded 45 and we'll be, to, we'll be recording for an hour? I don't know. I don't. I won't forget because I'm gonna start checking. Yeah, uh, start checking. That might work. Hopefully. Maybe. It's not like sending the fucking bullets. Archon won't stop leveling up. Stop it. Stop it. I don't think I was thinking of this part. I think I'm thinking of the um, next part because that's really annoying. It's like a maze. Okay. You never know, the next part could be like the best.
best part of the game. Well, you know what? I, I don't even know anymore. You think you need, like the pinnacle point of amazing games and the game. This is like, this is what games like the one that you're playing right now. What made me buy a Game Boy Advance? I mean, why play Mario or why play the Zelda games when I could play the Night Before Christmas? Exactly. This is like um, Clockwork Night. This is the equivalent of Super Mario World on the SNES. Like, it could it could challenge that game to like a bar fight and actually. Like, Hell yeah. The platforming is clunky. It's like it's hard to manage. For some reason, I'm thinking of this platformer game where you played as like Donald Duck for some reason. And back in the PS, it was like Donald Duck's gone mad or some shit. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what it was called. I remember, like, it was this really crappy platformer, and oh, I can't I'm trying to think of how I can like describe this game. We just went around collecting crappy shit, and the game was so buggy and laggy that. Whoa! What the fuck? Headcrabs. The PS2 version was actually a port of the N64 version. Whoa. Either that I'm thinking of the wrong game. It was called Donald's Gone Bonkers or some shit. It was a fantastic game. I don't like platformers much. I love them, but sometimes any developers kind of rip, try and make them impossibly hard for some reason. Or they make stu- or actual game developers make stupid shit like what you're playing and doing. Exactly. Like, I think the only people who can still pull off a good freaking platformer is Nintendo and the guys who made freaking Super Meat Boy. Didn't they make like a, a roguelike Minecraft S game recently? The Bane of Isaac or some shit? I have no idea. Well, I'm gonna have to check Steam in a minute. No, I think, like, like I said, I think the only freaking people who can still pull off a platform that's actually fun is Nintendo. Console wise. Yeah. Because everything else, well, everything else, nothing else is platformers on consoles. Now it's all freaking. Well, there's Uncharted and Assassin's Creed and all that. Well, those are different. Uncharted, well, Uncharted you could call it a platformer, but it's more along the lines of a realistic platformer. Yeah. Makes with a shoot 'em up. And Assassin's Creed, that one's like a. I would put that one under the sneaking zone. I don't know. I don't know about Assassin's Creed. I could call that one a platformer. Infamous was kind of platformy as well, but these just have platformer elements. They're not full-on platform games. I know, but you were just kind of jumping around flying. Infamous was a good game, don't get me wrong, but that one was more along the lines of a superhero kind of game. Where yeah. I guess you could call it a platformer, but you really weren't platforming. You were kind of just jumping around. Like kind of like Assassin's Creed, but... And again, you could fuck about and freaking infamous and nothing would go wrong. You could fuck about and Assassin's Creed and your whole game would get screwed over. Oh, wait, I get, am I done with this area? Nope. Holy shit, I think I am. This game, I wonder how, I wonder how, like, percentage-wise, I wonder how far we're into this game. I don't know, I think, wait. 20%. This game never ends, by the way. Son of a bitch. It, it had so much DLC that we're gonna probably be let's playing this thing forever. Hopefully, this is. I just don't want this to end. Neither do I. After, and after you, after you beat it, restart the let's play and make it HD. <laughs> Turbo HD remix of the Didn't Know Let's Play. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. I don't know, let's play like a console version of the game and kind of like have it as like a trend. Just playing shitty Night Rule for Christmas games? Yeah, nothing else. I don't know if I can commit to that, because this is just awful. Yeah. You gotta remember this was the Game Boy version though. I mean... Yeah, maybe, but... Maybe the PS2 version isn't as bad. I doubt it. I did play the like the the one where he gets a whip for some reason. That one was pretty bad. I think that was when I was talking about with music notes. 
It was so damn slow paced. Oh, I think that, that was the one that was like trying to like bask in the light that Kingdom Hearts left off. It's like we can make an action game too, kind of. Because we all know you guys want to play that game for the Nightmare Before Christmas world. Yeah. Why the hell not make another game about it, but it's terrible. I wonder when uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to come out. It's going to come out right alongside uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 3. Oh my god. Same day. That'll, be, that'll be amazing. They should, they should make Half-Life 3 on the 3DS. Like, to piss off every single person on the planet <laughs> who wants that game to come out. Throw it on the 3DS. Or the, or the, uh, Vectrex, one of those two. I think the Vectrex would make a good Let's Playing. I don't know what the hell that is. Like, we were playing a Vectrex before, Steve? Nope. Unfortunately not. But, no! There were pumpkin bombs in the fucking key stack. Check the time, make sure we're not going over. Well, we're four minutes away from our limit here. So, um, I guess we can start saying goodbye and shit. Cause, like, I, I can handle two parts. Three parts is, like, making me all tense and scared, and four parts would probably make me blow up. Oh, this is scary. I know, this game's terrifying. It's like Silent Hill 3. Fuck that, it's like a ten-year-old playing Silent Hill 2. It's that equivalent. Cool. Yeah. Playing it backward, no, playing it in the dark, at like 12 at night, when everyone's in bed. Ooh. It's that equivalent. Indeed it is. I thought I was out of pumpkin bombs, but I'm not. Shit. Shit. What was this thing? I don't know, what was it? It's a skull who's chasing me, it's scary. What is this? What am I supposed to do? I need to feed more enemies. Island hopping. Island hopping is fun. Uh, I'm just kind of messing around on YouTube here and I see this video about this game. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh. What do you do in this game? I'm like, I wonder what you do in the game island hopping. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. It's very advanced. Are you fucking kidding me? It's kind of like asking, what do you do in the game Monster Hunter? It's like... Can you kill this fucking thing? I, I, well, of course I'd be out of pumpkin bombs. Like, right at the end of this. Look at that. We're right at the end of this part. Okay. We have two minutes left to get past this damn part. It's annoying. I don't think you can do it, Steve. Oh, I will. I will do it. I don't think you can do it. It will triumph. Over evil. Yes. Twice. Okay, I think I have enough bombs now. No, I will. You will not complete this, let's play. Shit, I have, a, I have a minute left. We can do it. Let's freaking get to the credits at doing this, man. Oh. Shit. It's like starting a, a let's play of like an RPG and getting straight to the end. Kind of like intenseness right now. Oh, made it past it. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna destroy my platforms. Destroy your platforms, now we're playing the Night of the Minecraft. Exactly. These pumpkin platforms here are very intriguing. Alright, we have 20 seconds left, so... Say good... Goodbye, people. 
Yep. Bye. Yep. All zero people watching this. Bye, everybody. Bye.